story is called The Surprise. It was late October. The leaves had fallen off the trees. They were lying on the ground. I will go to Toad's house, said Frog. I will rake all of the leaves that have fallen and Toad will be so surprised that his lawn is clean. What a good friend. Frog took a rake out of the garden shed. I wonder what the surprise will be. Toad looked out his window. Oh, these messy leaves have covered everything, said Toad. He took a rake out of his closet. I will run over to Frog's house and I will rake all of the leaves and Frog will be very pleased. Frog ran through the woods so that Toad would not see him. Toad ran through the high grass so that Frog would not see him. Oh boy, this is going to be quite an interesting story. Let's see what happens next. Frog came to Toad's house. He looked in the window. Oh good, said Frog. Toad is out. He will never know <laughs> who has raked his leaves. Toad got out to Frog's house. He looked in the window. Oh good, said Toad. Frog is not home. He will never guess who raked his leaves. Oh, what's, what lovely friends they are, aren't they? Frog worked hard. He raked the leaves into a pile. Soon Toad's lawn was clean. Frog picked up his rake and started home. See, this is very interesting because we as the reader know something that both Frog and Toad don't know. This is something special called dramatic irony. The author uses a very special trick when they do that. Oh boy, let's keep reading. Let's see what happens if they find out. Frog picked up his rake and started home. Toad pushed and pulled on the rake. He raked the leaves into a pile. Soon there was not a single leaf in Frog's front yard. Toad took his rake and he started home. Look, they've got identical piles in one another's yards. Such a good friendship, isn't it? A wind came. It blew across the land in the pile. <laughs> Oh boy. And the pile of leaves that Frog had raked for Toad blew everywhere. And the pile of leaves that Toad had raked for, for Frog blew everywhere. When Frog got home, he said, Tomorrow I will clean up the leaves that are all over my lawn. How surprised Toad must be. <laughs> this is quite a lot of dramatic irony. When Toad got home, he said, Tomorrow I will get to work and rake all of my own leaves. How surprised Frog must be. That night, Frog and Toad were both happy that they each, when they each turned out the light and they went to bed. Let's see what happens in the morning. This is quite an adventure. Oh, I hate that when the author just ends it like that and you have to discover in your own mind why write the book if you're going to make me guess what happens. Oh, well, that story, <laughs> that story was called The Surprise. And not only were they su surprised, hopefully they find out what happens, but we were surprised when there was no more to the story. Very good. Ah. <sighs>